What's up guys, Fireball64 here, back with another Subnautica video. Uh, the last one was a little bit uneventful, but uh, I'm very hopeful that today we'll be doing some more fun stuff. Yesterday we just tried to do a lot of crafting and collecting, but hopefully you guys learned about the game a little bit, uh, at least. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, grab some popcorn, and uh, let's get into it. Oh, look at the moon, look at the moon, and then whatever planet that is. What the? Can I scan that? Oh, I can. Is it, what, what is it landed on? I think it landed on my face. Okay, that's cool. I didn't actually know they had a name. Sky rays, huh? Because I didn't think you could ever scan them. Anyways. Let's head into the life pod here, and I've noticed we've got a radio message, so let's hear it. Distress call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location hmm. uploaded to PDA. Interesting. Which life pod is that? Yeah, so life pond hunting in this game is pretty interesting. About a hundred meters down, that's not bad. Stranded near a cave system and under attack. Okay, let's go find it, shall we? Do we have our seamoth? We do. Okay. Uh, what did I just take out of my inventory? It's a little annoying the inventory management system in this game. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm going to put some of my stuff in a uh, storage chest here, just in case we get attacked. And we had a good start yesterday, to, or not yesterday, but last video. It was a very good start. Alright, let's get, let's get uh, going here. Actually, you know what? Can I, can I fit my fire extinguisher in there? I can. Good, because I can just, oops. I can just put my flashlight on my hotbar as well. Excellent, now we've just got the stuff we need. Alright, this is the sea glide. Something we crafted at the very end of the last video, but uh, it's uh, cool nonetheless. So, uh, it's actually a real thing on Earth. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them, but hold on. i just turn that map thing off. It's, you know, basically just like a little water engine that you can just carry. I'm gonna take that peeper for some food later. Rabbit rays. I think that's what the sinks are called. Some stalkers. There's a lot of really, really cool creatures in this game. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take that metal salvage. Why not scanned metal salvage? I could have sworn I did that in the last video. I'm gonna also take one of these hoverfish. Oop. Maybe not. I'll take a boomerang. Apparently, I've never done that one. Oh, that's that's a bat's a biter. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that alone. I wanted to take a hot fish. There we go. There's one, so I can discover the creature and get the recipes with it. Come on. There we go. So we're gonna take that. We also got our uh, oxygen tank upgrade in the last video. <gasps> Here's a new biome. Welcome to the red grass plains. Or the grassy plateau. Red, yeah, the grassy plateau. That's what it's called. <gasps> now that, that is the jelly shroom game. I'm not gonna go in because I'll probably m get absolutely murdered. But there's a life pod. Man, this planet like this is so cool. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this planet is called Planet 4546B, and Aurora it was exploring this planet as maybe a, like a potential habitat for Earthlings, and then it was shot down. Or well, well spoiled it. Dang it. Uh, it something attacked, not attacked, but hurt hit the uh, ship. We don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say what yet, but, uh, yeah. Is there a... Ooh, quartz. I'll take the quartz. There we 
go. Is there any blueprints around here? Nope. Sometimes you can find uh, blueprints and stuff around the life pods. So is there anything in here? Uh, is that a laser cutter? I think so. Yeah, a laser cutter fragment. Alright, let's swim up here. <gasps> Ooh, yes! There's a uh, shipwreck there. Get in there. Not gonna waste the battery on my sea glide unless I need to. Or or I want to, you know. I always struggle to get into this one because I never remember how. It's got like a weird entrance. I think it's like over here somewhere. The entrance. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, <coughs> oh, sorry. Seek fluid intake. Oh, I need water. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen, Oxygen efficiency, efficiency decreased. decreased. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm just getting this, I guess. Is there a PDA on metal scalvage? I guess so. <gasps> yes, seamoth fragments. This is what I wanted. These are definitely good to have. Because then we can make a sea moth, which is definitely something we want. Is that a... Oh, skin room fragment. Okay, that's fine. Come on, let's get it. Yes, okay, now I can see them off. Alright, I need to get up fast. Seamoth guy, this is like a underwater traversal thing, and it's really cool. I'll have to, we might get one in this video, but uh, most likely we will not. If we do that, it'd be cool. Look how big this ship, or this, it's not a shipwreck, but you know, a wreck, a wreck site, I guess you would, would call it. Is this a, something that I can discover? Ooh, bioreactor fragment, nice. There's all kinds of things that you can scan around these areas. Anything in there? No. This, no, this is just metal salvage. Anything in there? No. Let's see if we can find the entrance to this place. Actually, I think I already got the blueprint from the scanner room. There's the laser cutter. If you guys haven't figured it out already, uh, so basically the way blueprints work in this game is you have to scan different blueprints and the more and some of them require more scans than others but when you scan them you will get uh, blueprints for them and you can make them but until you've scanned enough you cannot make it apparently there's an invisible wall there this thing I always forget how to get it inside now I'm stuck where's the exit there okay we need food and water here so if I can't find the entrance I might have to come back but Oh wait, I think this is it right here. No. Let's get the oxygen. I'm gonna take one more go at this and then I need to go back for food and water. Seamoth fragment over there. Let's see. One. Take one more. One more gander. See if I can find the entrance, but I can't remember where it is. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm thirsty. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh shush. It's here somewhere. Well, I mean, I guess that's obvious, but. Probably not waste the battery on my sea glide. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the entrance, guys. 
feel bad because I, I want to show you guys like the inside of these things because they're cool, but I cannot currently find the entrance. That's not a good sound usually. Maybe it is. I don't know. I thought that was like a brighter, a biter sound because it looked, sounded like a biter, but I guess not. I want to say you enter through like one of these pipes, but I guess not. Is this the entrance? Hey, this is it. Probably not. It's a little bit far of a swim, yeah, to get inside, so I don't think it is. Wait, what was that? I I could scan. Oh, it's been like a fish that's in front of me or something. Yeah, okay. I will probably come back to this, guys, but I gotta get some food and water here soon, so. Also, it just told me I needed to get a self scan, so I'll do that here in a second. Also, I believe we have a, uh, what the heck? Oh, there we go. I believe we have a uh, radio transmission to listen to, so. Oh, yeah, there's a, uh, Reefback Leviathan. I'll scan one of those guys in a minute. Probably have to come back to this area anyways. Because I do want to find out what's in that wreck. I forget. Usually helpful stuff to find in wrecks, though. say it's definitely always beneficial to look inside those things that's the only one though I have I ever have trouble finding like getting into the other ones are usually pretty easy I like how the developers like have designed the game too that like uh, they want you to find stuff like they put things in areas that Emergency. you're most likely yeah, I know. I know, I just need this. I'm gonna start dying here in a second if I don't go this way. Oh, little tired of time! Come on, please. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Ow. I'm going, game, I'm going. Oh, no. First order of business would be to. Take my kid if I can. Whoa, okay. It's close. Let's see, water. There we go. Peeper, a hoverfish, and then okay. Uh, gotta craft some things here. Let's see. Do I have a new tool? Oh, I've got a rebreather now. Nice. Sorry, guys. There was an interruption. I had to pause for a second. Uh, let's see here. What was what was I doing? Oh yes, food. I think I already crafted food. I just need to eat said food now. Vital there we go. Stabilizing. stabilizing. Yep. All right. Uh, what was my goal? Let's see. Did I learn the? I don't think I did. Oh wait. Hold on. Gotta just make sure I know. I've uh, like seen these things, so the don't get those annoying yellow uh, things seen a lot of things and like doing a lot of things today apparently what do I need for a rebreather wiring kit and fiber mesh let's see what do I need for a wiring kit silver ore actually I can make that and fiber mesh is like creep vine uh hold on do I have not have that unlocked yet It's not under electronics, is it? I might not have fiber mesh unlocked yet, unfortunately. Right, because... Well, maybe. Fiber mesh... Yeah, no, I don't think I do. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's see what's right your transmission ones. Receiving, being recorded, distress, call, laying back. This is Lifepod 3, uploading our coordinates. 
We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. I don't plan on going, getting home anytime soon, because I don't think I will, but we'll see. Hopefully. You guys all know that it's not going to be that easy. What are we doing? Okay, well, we don't got anything else to do. Let's go, uh, let's go see what's going on over here. This one's, uh, only like, oh yeah, this one's barely that far away at all. What the heck? Was it just me that saw that, or? I mean, it looked like some sort of creature, like, glitched out right in front of me. Just a bit scared there for a second, because I thought it was a dangerous creature that usually is not supposed to spawn here, but... We might see one of those here in a minute. Actually, let me... Actually, I might only get... I might have to get fiber mesh by just doing that. Yes, there we go. Sea glide. I already got the sea glide unlocked. I don't need to look at that. Where is the entrance? Here we go. Let's take the PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Well, I'll take some of the salt because I can cure food. I will also take that. Take that. Take that. Ooh, that's a stalker. Ooh, wait, oh, he's got the middle in his mouth. I'm gonna scan him because he can't attack me while that happens. So he drops it. Then I need to run away before he notices me. What? Well, get it. There we go. Let's right, back away. Back to the iPod. Might read their PDAs while I'm waiting. Have I already scanned you guys? I don't think I have. Let's see, gasopods. Nope, I scanned you. Whoop, he's trying to fart on me again. Alright, back in the life pot then. Okay, now I can make fiber mesh, I think. Yes, great. Oh, good thing I grabbed two. Grab the. Oh, wait, what tool do I have? Oh, that's cool. Pathfinder tool. It deploys holographic pathfinder disks used to map a way back ooh, out of caves or hard navigate spaces. Max 20 disks per path. That's nice. That's cool. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Okay. Some filtered water here. Uh, I need a wiring kit. Uh, silver. Right, I need silver. I think I have enough silver for a wiring kit. I think I only need two. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe I need three though. We'll see. Why do I have my flashlight up? Oh, waste some battery. Nope, just just two. Excellent. Now we're gonna get a rebreather, which will be very helpful because we can uh, like dive to for deaths and it won't completely ruin our oxygen efficiency. There we go. Now I got a rebreather. That's great. Man, usually I don't do this well from the beginning. It took me a while to find stuff in the last video, but. Not today, ladies and gentlemen. Not today. Alright. Man, we have got a butt ton of titanium. I'm just gonna put it all in this chest because we don't really need it. Right now. Alright. Ooh, self scan, right? Because the thing told me to self scan. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Uh oh. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna do that again. Oh, look what it says on the right. Look what it says on the right when I do that. Uh, infected. That's not good. That's not good. I don't know why I keep getting in that menu, actually. 
I should build. Oh, I need. I don't know what I haven't found one of those yet. All right, I need to get to a kelp forest, and of course it's stark. Kelp forest. Let's see. Here's one. You can always tell by like the green grass. I don't need to build salvage. Uh, all right. Let's see here, because the way to find the mobile vehicle bay fragments is to go. Oh, ooh, that's the uh, that's the little thermal thing here. Take that, man. We have plenty of titanium at this point. Okay. So, a lot of times you can find boxes. This might be one right here. With the mobile vehicle bay. Yes, the great. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Number one. Numero uno. Where is vehicle bay fragment and numero dos? Come on, I know you want it. Oh, I think I found it. That's Sea Glide. I don't want a Sea Glide. Vital signs stabilizing. I'm aware of uh, my vital signs. Thank you. Ooh, this might be it. Yep, mobile vehicle bay. Peace, numero dos. Yeah, stalkers aren't that scary. Kind of. I ma made them out to be more scary than they really are in the uh, first episode. I'm just gonna have for air. You'll hear them chomping at me, and they're not gonna get me. So I guess my next priority is going to be getting a sea glide because I, I really, I can't, uh, can't do much really at this point until I get start getting radio transmissions. That's when I can start doing like the big stuff. Come on, can I get? Can I get mobile vehicle by fragment numero trace? Numero trace is the final fragment I need. It's a big kelp forest. Silver, yes, we always need silver. Wow, this one goes deep too. Holy moly. Ah! <gasps> numero trace? Numero trace? Ah, not numero trace, that sucks. Oop, there's numero trace. Hey, right there. Nice. Lovely. Now we got the vehicle bay. Yeah, this one goes almost 100 meters deep. Maybe it does go 100 meters deep. Yeah, it does. 106. Nice. Impressive. I see we're not losing as much oxygen now that way that heavy breather. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I, I uh I don't know I can't remember if I said this in the last video or not, but I uh, I named my PDA. I'm naming it Oh what was it? What what did I name it? I know uh, I've forgotten. I, I, my brain is just drawing a blank now. It'll come to me in a second, don't worry. It will come to me in a second. I almost wanted to say it's Linda, but it's not Linda. Oh, it'll come to me in a second. I don't remember. I don't know. As I said, it'll come to me in a sec. Is this shipwreck? Or not? I keep saying shipwreck. Oh, it is a wreck. That's good. I just can find some things here. Oh, huh. lovely. I can't get in. Holy crap, that was a little scary. Not gonna lie. Now, the stalkers are not the most agile creatures. So they'll attack you, but they're not that scary. Because they miss most of the time. Uh, 
I can't find the, uh, I can't get the, uh, the fragment for the, uh, laser cutter. That's what's called, the laser cutter. Can't get that, so I can't get in there yet, but I'll have to remember that that's there. It's funny, too, because I know the game developers did it this way on purpose because they're geniuses, but you think when you see that thing, because most people wouldn't have the laser cutter when they look for that, or when they see that, so they'll be like, man, there's be I wish there was a way I could remember that, that that's there. And then, and then they're like, yeah, well, maybe a beacon would work for you. And they're like, yeah, let me scan that. You make one, you put it there, and you remember it's there. I won't need to do that, because it's like literally like five feet away from me, but... And beacon. Titanium ingot, lubricant, and powers. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see. Titanium ingot, easy. I can get some of the thousands of titanium I have in this chest. See how many is that? I've got seven, I think that is. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. That's one titanium ingot. Excellent. Take a second to craft. And then I needed a power cell. Um, what do I need for power cell? Two batteries and silicone rubber. And then what was the other thing? Lubricant, that's easy. Okay. Oh wait, that's not what I meant to do. I want, oh, I don't have the clusters. All right, guys, I think I, I, I just realized we were running out of time. I think I'm gonna need to end off the episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Notice that I've been doing kind of, kind of some abrupt endings here, but uh, sorry for that. I just uh, I usually don't realize how much time like has passed until it's been way too late. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.